Talk Show. Recorded live. Hello, everyone. This is Carrie Lane with the University of Utadia. We are here today, being the uh, first day of June uh, 2011 on the Roman Gregorian calendar. And uh, with us uh, today, we have Ron Davenport and Greg Pappas. We'll be sharing some information and be doing some questions and answers. Frank is uh, uh, unavailable for tonight, and he's looking forward to uh, being back next week. We have a great call, uh, some great topics to cover tonight, so um, stick with us. Get ready for some good questions, and uh, we look forward to hearing from Ron and Greg. So uh, with that, uh, Ron, um, just real quick, I want to remind everyone on the recording, if you will um, type in your questions on the chat. Uh, after you pre- after you type in question in all of the case, uh, use proper case to type in your question. Also, just as a reminder, uh, please don't mistake any of this information or suggestions as legal advice. Uh, we do not give legal advice. It's all for educational purposes. And with that, I'll turn it over to you, Ron. Thank you, Terry. <clears throat> um, tonight, I would like to discuss the foreclosure defense package. Um, It is a package that I assembled from various documents that were supplied to me from various sources, which were put together by other people that had worked on it. So I I do not know who who was the main um, editors of the documents, but what I did was I put the documents into folders, and each, each folder is a particular step in the process. So what I want to do is go through that um, step by step so everybody understands what's happening. Now, please remember that I cannot answer any legal questions. I will ask, I will answer procedural questions, but I cannot give you legal advice. And then after I finish talking about the uh, foreclosure defense package, Um, I'll take questions on that, and then we will move into what I have discovered uh, in my quest against the IRS, and it's it's called a 709 form, which is a gift in the state tax. Now, I was alerted to this process in a transcript that Gene Keating did. He just kind of mentioned it and went on. Well, a friend of mine picked it up and did it on his own in um, early January, and within 30 days, a letter came back from Cincinnati stating that he didn't owe anything. They were ready to garnish his wages and uh, put a lien on his home. So what we will do is, of those that have downloaded this, we'll start off, uh, downloaded the um, foreclosure defense package, and... When the package opens up, there'll be six separate folders, and then there'll be um, a a set of general instructions for the whole package. So I'm just going to, I'm trying to give you a feel of how to move through these. Now, also, you have to remember that um, every state has different um, filing requirements as far as the county auditor, we in Washington, it's the county auditor. It could be called something else over in Montana. I have no clue. They're all different. But what one thing that's in common is that their function is dealing with uh, land issues, property issues. So if you keep that in mind, it's not too difficult to get around their um, their procedure. So. <clears throat> We have, I've opened up the general instructions for the RESPA package, and it's two pages, and I will just go through each step. It's uh, step one, or item one. Please be forewarned that these documents are templates for you to begin freeing yourself as a debt slave. They are not intended as legal advice, so really they are for your Entertainment purposes only. Do not, ask, do not ask for legal advice because we cannot give it. Now, 
For those that have been on this call long enough, you know why we say that. We're not attorneys. We're not licensed to practice their law, but yet we're trying to uh, enact or create a remedy for ourselves in their system, and it's darn impossible to do. But with this package, you you probably will not outright win. You will probably have a stalemate, and you will probably stay out of court. You want to stay out of court because the judges are all bought off. The attorneys make sure of that. When I tell you something like this, please believe me. I know it's hard to believe, but it's true. They're all bought off, every one of them. So the best thing we can hope for is a stalemate. They leave you alone, you leave them alone, you stay in your home, not make payments, that's a win. Okay. Point two, uh, the documents have been marked up so you can find where to make changes. The areas that need your personalized attention will either be highlighted in yellow or the letters will be in red or in brackets. Just put in your, the, <clears throat> the information's in there, it just needs to be changed, okay? And these are all um, Word, uh, Microsoft documents. They're not .docx, they're .doc. So everybody probably has that program by now. And then point three, every county and state in the union have different filing requirements for documents that deal with land recordings, such as margins and how the front page is formatted. Find out from the county recorder's office how the documents should be formatted before you create the documents for filing at the county recorder's office. Okay. What this means is, <clears throat> in Washington, you have to have, on the front page, three inches from the top edge of the paper down to the top edge of the first heading or first line. Then they require one inch on the left, right, and bottom. And they actually take a ruler and, and measure it. If you don't have the formatting requirements, they don't have to file it. So you might as well format it correctly before you go there. So find out from your recorder how they want it formatted. <clears throat> Okay, point four, every state in the union have different laws concerning the wording of the notary acknowledgement that is at the end of every document. Go to a notary and have the notary confirm the notary acknowledgement wording. If it's wrong, then type in the correct wording. Simple. Every state is different. So these are, these are things that you have to be aware of as you're creating the documents. Otherwise, <clears throat> you could get them all printed up, get them signed, and uh, then they're they're useless. You got to start over. Uh, inside each folder, you will find specific instructions on how to prepare each packet for mailing. Please print the instructions and read them completely before preparing the documents. That's self-explanatory. Uh, the folders are arranged in chronological order, so if a so I probably messed this up. So if a sale is not pending, start at step one and follow the instructions. The object is to get the full reconveyance as soon as possible. So don't let timing marks slip by. Um, certain documents, uh, like the, the main RESPA document that has to cure 60 days, in other words, the attorneys or the bank has to have it for 60 days, before you can move on, stuff like that. Don't let the timing mark slip by <clears throat> because at every timing mark, you have to do something. And then you continue. <coughs> Excuse me. Should you be, you should be very familiar with MS Word and how to make changes in the documents. Do not destroy your templates. After making changes, do a save as and change the file name slightly. Do not do a save. It will write over your original template. So in other words, if you do a save as, it creates a new file, and it leaves your template alone. 
as it was when you began. You might have to go back and use it in case you accidentally erase something. <clears throat> um, the first packet sent out is the Respatilla QWR, which is a qualified written response, or um, yeah, with the revocation of power of attorney and affidavits by certified mail. Before making any change to the documents, please read how to complete this package by consulting the instructions inside the folder. The second packet is a certificate of non-performance default if the bank does not rebut the revocation of power of attorney within 20 days following the receipt of the Respatilla packet. Then to the same entities as listed in number three above. Um, what they're talking, what I'm talking about there is in the Respatilla package, there is a revocation of power of attorney, also, uh, also included with the RESPA. So <clears throat> they have a chance to to counter what you're saying in your revocation of power of attorney. But they only have 20 days on that one. So there's a timing mark you have to be aware of. Uh, the third packet is the certificate of non-performance default. If the banks or mortgage companies have not answered the Respatilla QWR within 60 days, then this step must be completed. Send to the same entities as listed in number three above. Well, number three above is actually, that must have been something I pulled out of the individual steps. The fourth packet is the full reconveyance of the deed of trust. This step is done right after the third packet has been mailed. Uh, then, if you are unlucky and have a trustee sale on the horizon, then do what is contained within a uh, Step 5 folder, which is, um, we'll get to that when I get inside the specific folders. And then inside the instruction, this main instructions is notes and tricks. While you are waiting for the time to pass for Step 1, I'd suggest preparing a notice of non-abandonment and labor lien on your property. Just prepare the document and have it notarized and record in the county. The document is in folder step six. You can quick claim your property to a trust. If you haven't had a trust set up, then it sounds like more work and money, but in the long run, well worth it. If it's done right, the trust will protect the assets. You'll have to go to an attorney or, or somebody that knows how to set up trust to do that one. You can go to your recorder and have them do a legal property search and miscellaneous address search for a party of interest. Do this in both spouses' names if you have both signed the bank documents. The recorder usually has their own form that they will fill out dating and notarizing the search and detailing what was and was not found. Now have your clerk place that on the public record. I have yet to find a bank that has placed a mortgage note on the public record showing that they have an interest in that legal property description. Keep copies, copies for yourself. If these actions do not stop the bank, then you must file a lawsuit at your uh, U.S. District Court and file a less pendants. Well, let's hope it doesn't go that far. Now you're in real trouble. But anyway, um, the idea behind this this these steps is to get certain documents um, recorded at the county level that that blocks any action that these guys are going to try against you. So <clears throat> because there's no law anymore in this country and nobody observes the law, they do what they want. But they, there's certain things they cannot get around, and that's a properly recorded documents in the county. So... Let's go to uh, folder one. And folder one, I got to find it myself. Hmm. Folder one is the RESPA TILA QWR package or uh, step. And it's, it's labeled Step 1, RESPA 